I'm Jacob. I'm Yuri. And we're going for a drive. Good job, Jacob. 23 Defender V8 with launch control. <laughs> this is so fast, Yuri! We gotta get James Bond! Horsepower and torque! 518 horsepower, 461 pound-feet of torque from a supercharged 5-liter V8. With it. Downshift. That is glorious to drive this. So this is the 90, the smallest one, then there's the 110, the bigger one, the 130, the biggest one. In the 130, we said there's no V8 in this, but we were wrong. So we went out and got it. Where do we get it from? We got it from Jaguar Land Rover Metro West. Shout out to them for hooking us up with this vehicle because Yuri, while you have acknowledged that it was we, it was actually me, I made the mistake. So this car does in fact exist and you can buy this exact car from the dealer. And there's not many of these in Canada because this is such a unique vehicle with the short configuration in the 90 and the V8. And that dealership is located in Toronto, so check them out there. You can see them right off the highway. Let's see this car through Cliche Corner and, oh my God. Okay, it handles really, it really well. well. Yeah, yeah. The short wheelbase is so much better than that 130 that we drove, but uh, wow, this is actually great through Cliche Corner. Yo. Damn, this is good. Sports car mini truck. Yeah, and I wasn't even like trying to really send it too hard. I was in dynamic mode. And I found that dynamic mode is the one that you want to be in because that's the one that seems to open the exhaust valve. There's no actual exhaust valve configuration. And we're not going to make you wait till the end of the video, so take a listen to the outside. Too bad it's not the crazy wild exhaust from like the old SVRs, right? It yeah. Feels, feels like it's almost there, but like legally they're not allowed to anymore. Hey man, we got a <laughs> supercharged five liter V8 in a two door SUV. Like wow. this is insane. And this is kind of along the spirits of like the 392 Jeep, the Bronco Raptor, and also the G-Wagons. Yes. In my and, opinion. And all of those you cannot get in two door form, which is why this really stands out. So starting with the looks, I think it looks a little awkward, but that's fine. And I think it looks better specked out in like a, like a, one of the lighter colors with the white roof. However, this is pretty menacing considering it's the V8. It's a short. It looks like it's straight out of James Bond. Yeah, okay. Play the clip. Whoa! Oh, we're the bad guys and we're chasing that guy, James. Let's <laughs> get him. And now we've basically reviewed every configuration of this one, this one being the 90 again, but the looks are still really good other than the stubbiness, which is kind of cool. Okay, we haven't reviewed one with the Steelys. This oh, one's yeah. got the nice five spokes, black. What would be the Continental recommended tire for a Defender? The ones that we're driving on, which come from the factory on the Cross Contact RX. Shout out, Land yeah. Rover. And they are 22 inch wheels. The wheels look better on this one than they did on the 130, because yeah. these are black. Simple five spoke, but they just look better. I like how I say Defender on it. Yes. <laughs> and then there's also like a little V8 badge real real low there. And it's black on black, so it's hard to see, but that's cool. Very subtle. Like this is, um, I, I told Yuri that I'm a bit of an when it comes to loud exhaust. <laughs> this one's not that loud. It's kind of classy. So I think this is for class holes. Classy. Is that the, is that the title of the video? Probably we'll not. Get away with that. We'll probably get demonetized. <laughs> we will try. But the exhaust does sound really good. It's just it's not as loud as I was expecting it. You do get little bits of crackles and pops here. I'm gonna try. It's kind of hard to get it. So here, third gear. A little bit. No. A little bit. See, it's nice that it's not predictable, but like really minimal crackles and pops. Very adulty. Classy ish. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but this car is amazing. Uh, we love the Defender in every form. We say that in every video. This spec is also really good with this beige interior or tan interior. Slow down with the interior. Sorry. We can talk about the exhaust tips oh. and how they look. They okay, look awesome. Okay. Doesn't that look wicked? Yeah, very simple. It, you can still see the muffler, like still good ground clearance, way better than the 130. And the front still looks cool. The back still looks cool. Overall, sweet looking little, cute little, strong little SUV. And the stance on this thing with the air suspension, lowering it right down, <laughs> looks amazing. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's this just- This is like, great. It's just everything about this is cool. 
and it's so one of a kind. I could see myself ending up with a Defender if I ever needed an SUV in the future. And I took one look back there, realized I have a child and what I'd have to do to get a kid back there. And I'm like, I would just get the 110 or 130. It's a good thing that they <laughs> do have the but, 110. But without a kid, like, yo, know, you kind of got to get this one. Yeah, because you can get the 110 with the V8 and not yet. This is a fact. I'm not making this up. I'm not wrong. You can't get the V8 in the 130 as of right now. And we also drove the Range Rover Sport, which has a V8, but it's the BMW V8. Which is twin turbo. But that one's faster than this V8, it seems like. It does feel like that, but this one will still do 0 to 60 in like high four seconds, mid high. So this is still quick. And this one has more character than that one does. If I was in the market for a V8, I would go with the one from the company. You know, the Range Rover V8, the Land yeah, Rover V8. Because I think they've officially announced that this engine will no longer be in production, at least in the F-Types. So I assume this one's also on its way out. So it's nice that they included it for the time that you can actually get this. And right do you now. like shifting with the paddles on this? It's nice. Shifting's great, yeah. We've got that ZF 8 speed and shifts quick. Like quicker than that sport, I feel like the tuning is better in this, at least for sportiness. Do we get the chainsaw up shifts? I've got them a little bit here and there. Uh, you've got to be in sport mode and kind of like very low gear, so let's see if I can get it down. Let's go. There. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so. Hey! Still yeah. got chainsaw you know, options. I feel like there's a hacker who can like hack this car and be like, make it like the old SVR. Enter. <laughs> yeah. if, and it, I, if this sounded exactly like that old uh, Range Rover Sport. SVR, oh, the SVR, yeah. If this sounded exactly like that, I would, I would just I would just be like, yeah, I'll break my back. I'll throw my kid in the back. Because there's a ton of room back there. There is. But we'll talk about that later. Let's get you into the driver's seat to grip this lovely Alcantara steering wheel, which I actually can't believe that we have. I'm just going to floor it. James Bond bad guy style because they don't have time to activate launch control. Send it. Oh, that's that just a sick. Really good. If not better. Holy sh. <laughs> that was sick. Okay, interior. Alcantara steering wheel. Weird, but I mean, if the James Bond bad guy wants some comfort while driving, cool. They probably got bad guy gloves on for shooting their guns, which is great for Alcantara wheels. Yeah, and then we got bad guy grips over here, rubber grips. We got the Defender logo up here. Everything's very rugged. We can still see the exterior paint color over here, which it's black, so it doesn't really matter. And even though you're jumping your car, which may ruin it if you're a bad guy, you probably still want to protect your floors. You definitely want to protect these floors with a set of Tux Mat. Go to tuxmat.com slash the straight pipes. Check out what mats they have for your vehicle because they have some for the 90 and the 110 Defender. All right, little baby cliche corner saying because it's a little wet. Dude, you can feel the short wheelbase right away. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. This feels like almost sports car. They need to lower this. They yeah. need to dump it. I guess it's got air suspension already. So yeah. But like super dumped. Wow, yeah, that's, I don't know how it would be for like rock crawling and going off-roading, but I'm sure probably super amazingly capable because we do have drive modes for all that stuff. Yeah, and Defender's got some pretty serious heritage and it can do a bunch of water weighting and all that fun stuff. And, this and is it is the best one for off-roading stuff? Yeah, because short wheelbase, that's what you want. Um, this one's also really comfortable on the road, no issues. I thought we might get stiffer suspension because it's the V8 but it doesn't feel like it's any stiffer. And then on the highway, you did not notice any lane centering, just like uh, the pulls kind you of, out. Yeah, pulls you back into the lane once you've touched the... the yeah, lane. you don't really expect that in this, like as you would in a Range Rover Sport. Yeah, so, okay. oh well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shift. Manually? I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit it. Go for it. Oh my God. A little late. Yeah, you got to shift a little early in this. This is great, though. Man, the pedals, they get a little grrr sound. And the gauges are nice. They seem more red in this version. If you, that's because you're in sport. Oh, sorry. Oh, because <laughs> the other one, because the, the other ones didn't, didn't have, have dynamic, dynamic yeah. so we'll go so back to comfort. Go, and then it's, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, look, no overhang in the display. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and you can, what's funny is in your 360 cameras on, the above view, you know, you can see everything underneath, but like the, the top view, it's such a small little car. <laughs> it's it is. Very it is cute. Small. This is the cutest, strongest car ever. Yeah. Uh, Pfizer test. Okay. Three, two, one. Does not. Oh, yeah. yeah. Did I not? A little harder, bro. But it didn't slide out in the Range Rover. No, because we had a double visor. Interesting. I should have pulled harder. Spoiler alert. Cup holders. Ooh. Fits cups just fine. I forgot that was covered. And then back to all that leg room, seat room we were talking about. Jacob fits perfectly in the back. Yeah. 
Except it's just tricky to get in there, but we got electronic controls and like a thing to pull to push you over. And it's nice having those uh, Alpine lights back there because they're not as noticeable in the 130 from the front row, the driver's seat. Yeah, it's because really, it's so far back. It's, re it's really fancy back there. And then my mirror, I can make it a screen mirror, which is really cool. And then the trunk space, pretty minimal, like a like, little too little. Yeah, like if you had a dog, this is too small. Yeah, no, this is literally for like just you. You like it's like you and a significant other or something and like that's it. Yeah. Maybe a chihuahua or a cat. A cat. <laughs> you know chihuahua's my dream dog, but I'm not allowed to get one cuz they pure bite kids. God. It good. is though. Yeah, no, good. I'm glad you can't get one cuz they're that's If I had a, a pet chihuahua, the chihuahua would be coming with us on car reviews right here. <laughs> I should bring Rex back, my giant German shepherd. He can sit right here. Yeah. And honestly, I think that's kind of it. Like, we got the cool color on the interior, which I cut you off on before. But yeah, like, thank you. This uh, peanut butter, I'm going to call it three different colors in this video. Infotainment has got Apple CarPlay. Yeah, it's got, got all the, the stuff you need. The sound radio, it's, it's fine. Um, this is fantastic. We've I, driven we, so many of these Defenders, it's hard to the, say anything else. The V8 is a must, I think. Okay, P400 at the bare minimum, but this is, if you can spring for this, spring for this. This is going to be a future classic. I can guarantee it because this is very low production. They're not gonna make this engine anymore. Definitely consider buying one of these at Jaguar Land Rover Metro West. And if you're in the States, go to tsp.truecar.com and see what specs are out there. Let us know what your favorite spec that is available and what it is. And we've gotta to get to the price for this one. Let's get to the price. This one starts at $130,300. Canadian. And this one is specced out to $146,069. The smaller the car, the more expensive. Yes. Because it's cooler. It's got a V8. Just buy it. I, I'm, I'm all about this. You can buy this exact model. Yes, this literal car will be for sale. Go there and tell them Yuri and Jacob sent you. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you at the next video. Probably another Defender video. Don't forget to subscribe. 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 If you're still here.